Good morning everyone, it's me again, Clam from Clam Trail Flop. I'm currently at Yarra Boulevard at Burnley and today I'm going to do a ride to introduce you Gardenia Trick Trail. Let's go! Clam from Clam Trail Flop. So Gardenia Creek Trail runs along the Gardenia Creek. It is a roughly 90 km trail in between Yarra Boulevard in Burnley and Blackburn Road in Blackburn. And now I'm heading to the western end of the trail. At the front there, that is the entrance of the western end of the Gardenia Creek Trail. Okay, now climbing the bridge. So this is the western end of the Gardenia Creek Trail. So we're going to cross Yarra River. Side. This is Gardini Creek and we are in the suburb of Turek. So the name of Turek is actually derived from the former mansion in the area which was notably used as the resident of first five former governor of Victoria. The mansion was actually built by uh, James Jackson in the year of 1849. It was believed that he named the mansion Turek which was derived from Aboriginal woods means ready swamp of bread crow so on my right hand side this is Puyong Stadium this 5000 capacity Puyong Stadium used to be the home of Australian Open before the venue moved to current location Melbourne Park in 1988 so now I'm going to cross under Glen Ferry Road this Glen Ferry Road is a major north-south Root. It was named after a property known as uh, Glen Ferry, built by Peter Ferry. So Kuyong was actually named after the former name of uh, Gardenia Creek, used to known as Kuyong Cook Creek, in Aboriginal name, which means Horn of Water Flow. Entering the suburb of Hawthorne. So this creek, Gardenia Creek. Now what I say, used to known as Koyong Cook Creek in Aboriginal name. It was renamed by Seven Year General of Melbourne, Robert Holder, after John Gardenia, in honor him as a banker and pastoralist in this area. Hawthorne was named after the Hawthorne House in the area a blue stone house built by James Pinock in 1845 the house is located on Creswick Street we are still able to be seen today on the street so once we cross to Red Road we are in the suburb of Hawthornies and on my left hand side this is Toronga Village, a local shopping centre in the area. This is a very beautiful trail. So at the front, this is Toronga Road. I'm going to cross under Toronga Road. So Toronga Road is another road which derived from uh, Aboriginal words. Toronga means modern or new. So this suburb Glen Iris was named after the Glen Iris property owned by a solicitor in the area, J.C. Turner. He named it after the ship Iris, which uh, traveled by Captain Thomas Henderson to Melbourne. Captain Henderson was the former owner of the property before selling it to J.C. Turner. So at the front, this is Buck Road.
Berkhut is a roughly 12 kilometers major north-south urban road between Avonhoe and Caulfield North. It was originally known as Boundary Road as it was aligned with the western border of the former Alga Special Survey. Uh, 5,120 acres of land purchased by Henry Alga during 1841. The road was renamed into Burke Road after Robert Ohana Burke from the Burke and Wills Expedition and Australian explorer who died on an ill-fated expedition, the Burke and Wills Expedition which tried to travel from the south of Australia to the north of Australia. Okay, crossing Gardenia Creek again. So from here, you can go to Ferndale Trail. Crossing under High Street Road. Okay, on my right hand side, this is T.H. King Oval. It was named after Thomas King, the mayor of the former local council, city of Malvern. Okay, now in the suburb of Ashburton. Okay, on my right hand side, this is Dorothy Level Reserve. It was named after Dorothy Yvonne Level, a council and mayor of former local city council, city of Camberwell. Crossing Dunlock Street. So this suburb, Morven East, together as Morven, was actually named by John Gardinia. He named after Morven of England. Ashburton was named by former local councillor E. Dillon who had lived in Ashburton Terrace in Ireland. So on my right, this is the Malvern Valley Golf Course Hey, Crossing Gardenia Creek again So this is the conjunction of the Anniversary Trail and Gardenia Creek Trail. So this Anniversary Trail, also known as Outer Circle Railway Trail, it was built on the former Steam Era Outer Circle Railway Line. The railway line runs in between uh, Fairfield Station in Fairfield and Oakley Station in Oakley. But the trail itself is only run in between Main Yara Trail in uh, Fairfield and Hushdale Railway Station in Hushdale. So apparently this uh, anniversary trail or Outer Circle Railway Trail is a very iconic trail in Melbourne across a lot of parklands, wetlands and historical landmarks such as former location of the demolished railway station. All right, now I'm going to turn here, turn off from anniversary trail and continue at Gardenia Creek Trail. Crossing under Variga Road. Mm -hmm. 
So once I cross Mariga Road, I'm in the suburb of Ashwood. So this suburb of Ashwood is actually named from the combination of uh, Ashburton and Burwood as the suburb actually lying in between these two suburbs. So this Waringa Road is another north-south major urban road in southeastern of suburb of Melbourne. It runs in between Canterbury Road in Surrey Hills and Beach Road in Parkdale. The name Waringa was actually derived from Aboriginal language, which means Valdingo. Okay, at the front, this is Highbury Road of Burwood. This part of the trail is, uh, seems a bit rough. Okay, the suburb of Burwood was originally part of an area known as Ballyshenessy. Ballyshenessy was actually named after the second Premier of Victoria, John O'Shennessy. So the area of today Burwood was renamed into Norwood and then into Burwood in 1870s it was renamed after Burwood House which is located in the suburb of Hawthorne who owned by former mayor of Melbourne Sir James Powers Ooh, let's take a photo okay okay crossing Burwood Highway uh, this Burwood Highway is a roughly 30 kilometers length highway it's a major highway in eastern suburb which connects between Kuyong and Belgrave. I turn left here. So this section of the trail also known as White Horse Heritage Trail, conjunction with uh, Gardenia Creek Trail. And this section is actually gravel. So now in the suburb of Box Hill South. So this part will be riding on road. <sighs> At least there's some bike lane. Okay, back to Gardenia Creek Trail. The suburb of Box Hill was named this way due to the large number of yellow box trees growing in the area. Is uh, Canterbury Road. We're gonna cross Canterbury Road. Canterbury Road is another major road in eastern suburb, roughly 25 kilometers parallel road with Burwood Highway. It runs in between Buck Road in Camberwell and Mount Dandenong Road in Monrose. It was named after the suburb of Canterbury, which the road go through the suburb. crossing Middleborough Road we are in the suburb of Blackburn okay getting on gravel part again regarding the name origin of Blackburn there are few versions of the story for the name origin the most widely accepted version was named after a civil engineer James Blackburn who was also a Melbourne City Council surveyor So 
So this is Kalang Park. So on this kind of terrain, this kind of uh, non, not really fine gravel, I don't recommend you ride on road bike. A gravel bike, hybrid or mountain bike will be good. Unless you have a very good uh, puncture resistant tire and a gravel type of tire, or else I don't recommend you to ride here. Like you can see, this Gardenia Creek, very small now. the eastern end of the Gardenia Creek Trail So this 90 kilometers Gardenia Creek Trail runs along this Gardenia Creek So basically this trail is a very very uh, good scenery trail Definitely a trail for you to run away from hustle and bustle city life so regarding the condition of the trail it's basically very very good condition at the beginning until it reach a uh, highbury route it become a bit rough and then once it cross Burwa highway it actually become a gravel path but if you are riding with a gravel bike or mountain bike even hybrid definitely not a problem so along this trail i'll give you some additional knowledge as well hope that you're able to learn some history some information regarding this trail so for me to read this trail, I will read difficulty around 0 0.5 out of 5 stars, enjoyable, 4.5 star out of 5 stars, suitable for beginner, nice! But you have to choose the right bike to ride, especially if you want to go on the gravel path. So that's it for all the information regarding this 19 kilometers uh, Gardenia Creek Trail. I hope you can get some information regarding this trail and give you an idea what you should prepare before you ride this trail. That's it, thank you for watching. Don't forget to click the like, subscribe my channel and share it to everyone. Leave a comment if you have any feedback for me. Who am I? I'm the Trail Explorer, Clam from Clam Travlog. Goodbye! Something that could make sense They hate when I keep dreaming I'll be famous